everybody. So this is going to be zodiac reading in a sign of Pisces. Let's just start here by this is your first card, Pisces. This is the one representing you, the final sign in the zodiac. You are a water element, and here's a card representing that for you. You have two planets. You're very lucky. Not everybody has two planets, only a few of you. Your first planet, your traditional planet, would be Jupiter. Newer planet, uh, your co-planet, we'll call it, is Neptune. That is the card representing Neptune. That works for me. Pisces are people who are born between February 19th and March 20th, okay? And as I said, you're the last sign of the Zodiac, so that means you have wisdom and experience, or so they say, than the preceding 11 signs, making you very intuitive and empathic. So water signs are deeply attuned with your feelings and the emotions of others, often seeking deeper connections along with deeper understanding. Jupiter is the planet of expansion and higher learning. And that amplifies your spiritual quest, the outlook on life that you carry. Also now with Neptune, that is the planet of dreams and illusions. So that infuses you Pisceans with creativity, imagination, and a beautiful mystical connection to the unseen realms. So some of your traits, of course, you guys possess a natural ability to understand and to be able to connect with others on such an emotional level that really helps serve other people with this comfort and support that they so need in times. Thank you, Pisces. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, guys. I'm having a little bit of throat uh, chakra issues for some reason. Also, Pisces, you have imagination and creativity, so that helps come from Neptune. That helps you become highly imaginative very creative beings. Sometimes you guys are really drawn into the arts or music or even poetry. Or some of you may be prone to escapism or even idealism for others of you. Just in a way to cope with the intensity of your own emotions. I do want to say, for some of you that may not know, what it means when I say a timeless reading. A timeless reading means that the, the guidance and the insights that are provided in this don't stand within specific dates, okay, or even circumstances. So whether somebody here identifies as a Pisces sun, moon, rising sign, or even if you have placements in Venus with Pisces, these messages sure. resonate with your energy when you find the message. When you come across it, then that's when the messages are ready for you. It doesn't matter if it's at the time I'm uploading, which happens to be March 2024, or six months from now, or even six years from now. You get the point, right? Okay. Thank you. Now, as you see in front of us, we have some oracle cards that I've pre-prepared. Let me grab them up here. Okay, so we have... These here are from the Spread Crafters Oracle. I asked Spirit to show us some key things you should be dealing with in this month ahead. My little Pisceans. So first we have the card Support. Support reads, To help, to aid, to assist, to encourage and to hold space, it says. Confront. You have the card confront, and it says to address your challenges and problems, to stand firm in the face of conflict, to face your fears or enemy. Next, we have a focus areas card, and it reads goals, productivity, and habit. Along with, finally, another focus area card about connection, relationship, and love. So, these should be the highlights of this month coming. With support, I'm thinking it's, you know, definitely encouraging you to also 
seek support from others. You know, whether even if it's um, emotionally or practical, even the super spiritual support it could be. But by leaning on others, that can provide you guys with the strength and the encouragement you need to go through any challenges you might get to get to your goals for this month, okay? Then with confront. You're supposed to confront something, some certain issue I heard for some of you, or even a situation in this coming month of March or whenever you're watching it. Because avoiding or ignoring the problem I just said is going to prolong this process of healing and growth, okay? So they're suggesting for you to just confront it head on, and then you can empower yourselves to find this resolution, which is why you might need some support. And then with the goals, productivity, habit, um, I just heard you're being encouraged to focus on and to set some clear goals because that's going to help you be productive and in turn establish a positive habit for this month. Very nice. So. Somehow by prioritizing your tasks and creating that routine, per se, you're going to be able to make that steady progress towards whatever your dream may be. Lovely. And then this connection card here. Something about intimacy I just heard for Pisces. Very nice. Okay, so connection, intimacy, love. Yeah. You're really encouraged to deepen your relationship with someone uh it's deep in some kind of emotional bond i just heard also so it doesn't have to be a um physical relationship or a love relationship like you know sexual or romantic let's say any kind of relationship it could be but anyway that's going to bring in this beautiful sense of love and belonging in your life that's not too shabby is it <laughs> you are going to i think go ahead and Let's just peek at the, oh, not like that. <laughs> peek at these tea leaves. So we had rolled this dice here, and Spirit gave us the letter, or the number, not the letter, the number three. So that's how many tea leaves I went ahead and pulled for you guys. First is the card oops, of rat. Then we have dogs. And finally, teardrops. Tapping into those. With rat, I'm going to say you're very resourceful. You're very adaptable. And you're very smart. So I think you just have to use your own quick thinking for any challenge that comes up this month. And then, you know, you got loyalty, companionship, some kind of protection going on here with dogs showing up. So I think by um, this support card is going real good with this. So um, don't forget to, to um, seek comfort in support from your friends or trusted companions, even family members during this month. So you're not alone on your journey, I just heard. Don't forget you're not alone on this journey. Sometimes we feel that way, don't we, guys? And then with teardrops... I don't, I really think that you're just going to be letting go of a lot of past pain because like the teardrops are like, to me, like cleansing away, you know, um, some kind of renewal, healing. Okay. That's what they mean to me. So I do feel like you're going to have some kind of moment or moments during this month coming where you're going to be able to let go of that past pain and embrace a sense of inner peace and healing. So something that's hurt you, you can finally let go of. Great. And then let's see what else we got. We have the card that says give back. Now these are messages from your spirit team, spirit guides, you know, your ancestors, your family, friends, loved ones on the other side. This is what they want to tell you is what these cards were set intentionally for. 
And this says, give back, and it reads, today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits is highly likely that somebody really needs it right now. Then second card is take a moment. And I can already feel this one. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into a decision that you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. And finally, we have trust. Okay, lovely. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear di direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternate path. The logical path may be one you consider safe or more familiar, but you could be missing out on the boundless opportunities and so much more. Or they want me to get them all out. <laughs> we have next the archetype card child and it says magical and since it's upright we're going to go ahead and read the light attributes seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things the belief that everything is possible nice yeah put that there and then we have another archetype deck and we got the card the mentor the mentor. All right. Next, we have some animal spirits. So the animal messages are deer, and I don't take to reversals in this deck. Deer reads, take note of the messages in whispers and secrets adrift in, on the breeze. And then... Panda. Panda reads, enjoy the sanctuary of solitude to regain self-esteem and tranquility. Okay. Clarity. This is from the Divine Dog Wisdom Oracle, and it says clarity. Right below it reads, right under your nose. Then we have the card expression, seek your truth. Speak your truth, I see. Well, somebody needs to seek it or I wouldn't have said it. <laughs> and last, this little deck, I have no idea who made it. Got it off Amazon. Don't even understand why I didn't have a creator. But it's also got a very plain back. It says, I feel... More and more healed every day. Wow, guys, that's pretty cool. I, uh, I'm gonna put that there, I think. Is everything in frame? Yes. And we're gonna start with the card give back. I mean, I just heard something that said, giving back and contributing to the greater good this month ahead is going to show you ways that the acts of kindness, generosity, and service will really make you fulfilled and give you that sense of purpose that some are actually looking for this month or have been looking for your really just to do is what I heard. So some of you are asking, what is my real purpose here? Okay, well, giving back, maybe soup kitchen, I just heard, um, helping the homeless shelters, donating your time in any way, shape, or form, even if it's just taking a minute to give somebody directions for somebody out there. That is an act of, it's an unselfish act, and it's a good act, because maybe somebody was just getting very upset, 
and they needed somebody to help. And you can do that by giving back, okay? It really is something that somebody else might need too. And in turn, that is going to make you feel so much more empowered. Then with this moment of take a moment... You are always reminded to, to take time to connect with spirit. There is some kind of transformation going on, I'm seeing. And I also see that you're doing this with love, I just wanted to say. And like this, see this behind them? I, I had to go back, sorry. The ripples are going to, by you being good to somebody, they're going to in turn. It's like the butterfly effect, another one for another person, and it's going to go on. And don't we need that right now? Surely we do. I know the whole world needs to do that. Anyway, pay it forward. I just heard. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. But anyway, getting back to take a moment, connecting to your guides, to your higher self, to source energy, to whomever God Mother God, Father God, Spirit, however you do it, it's, it's all good. It's all great. Nobody can do it wrong. Whatever you believe in is what you believe in. Taking that moment, though, to reconnect to yourselves amidst this busyness of the busyness of life is really going to give you the clarity along this path. Yes, thank you. So connect to your higher self, I just heard again. Yes. And then trust. And trust from the heart, I'm seeing. Knowing that you are connected. Pisces, if anybody believes that, you will. I know it. You're urged just to trust yourself. Trust your intuition. You're highly intuitive. Trust the process, I just heard. Surrender control. Okay. All right. Because that's going to lead you to this great alignment of your soul's purpose, guys. So there's some kind of innocence in this card. Like, you no, know, it's just like playing outside with her big bow on. And I just, I, with that right there, I see like spirit orbs all around her. Even though I guess they're dandelions, but in her hair. And I don't know. And I just felt like a fairy nest because of her bow looking like wings all of a sudden to me. Non gender conformative. So if I say she, he, it's not because that's who's supposed to be watching this. You are all masculine, feminine properties to each one of us in this world. But you are encouraged to reconnect with that inner child. Okay, the magic of childhood, really, that innocence, the wonder, the, the ah that they have. Just embrace that sense of wonder and then the possibility that comes with it. Embracing this childlike perspective really is going to spark some kind of creativity or even just embracing that imagination. I feel like you're going to just get so happy and bring that joy into your life, Pisces. Absolutely. Mentor. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So smart. So, so, wis so much wisdom. You know, guidance. Uh, embracing that guidance. I feel like you're going to either encounter a mentor that's going to have some really wise counsel for you this month. You're going to have some great insights or guidance or something that can support you. Or you're going to be able to give that to another. And that'll help everyone's journey of growth and self-discovery in this coming month. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Absolutely. So pay attention to these little whispers and, and messages you're getting from your intuition because you're really reminded to trust your instincts and definitely follow the guidance that comes from inside of you, from the depths of your soul. Highly, highly, highly encouraged. I can't even read that card any other way, but it's usually gentle. You know, gentleness, uh, nurturing, but that's not what's coming out. It is definitely about what it says at the bottom here. Thank you, Spirit. And now with the panda, it, yep, it's like, okay, we're right here. Let's take a moment. It's just, get, it's reiterating you need to take this time 
to create your own sanctuary of peace with inside of yourself. And this is a place that you're going to be able to find your renewal, your inner calm, and be able to have that amazing self-esteem that you so need at times, you know? So something with, yeah, something with confront was just pulling me. Okay, so my hand's going numb. <laughs> um... Moving on to clarity. <sighs> clarity and the insights that are often found inside of yourself is what they're talking about. So, of course, tuning into that intuition and going inside for that inner wisdom. Um, you're going to uncover the answers that you're asking for. You're going to realize that the truth has always been within your reach. Right under your nose this whole time. All right. Interesting, especially since, like it says, speak your truth next. So we have this um, this expressions. Thank you. Pisces card, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's speak your truth. Embrace your inner voice. Give your... Give your authentic self to the world so that you can lead you and them. Oh, the give back. Yes, the mentor card. Okay, that is you guys. Okay, so embrace that. Speak your truth so that you can lead everyone, including yourself, to this fulfillment. Give them the empowerment. Empower somebody else. Be that magic person. That's where this connection is going to be. This is how you're going to be productive. This is the habit that you should continue with. This is the support that you can give. This is the way it is. And this card here, finally, I feel more and more healed every day. Even the small steps forward is going to contribute to the overall healing and growth, Pisces, okay? You're really encouraged to celebrate your progress and just acknowledge what, what it takes to just be here and just know that there is more and more healing every day that takes place. You've got guidance, you've got support, and your encouragement is there and you are to encourage others as you navigate the challenges and pursue your goals. Embrace any opportunity that comes along your path. And um, that is going to make a very enjoyable journey. Now, as you see, there's this triangle dice here too. We rolled this triangle dice and it has four options since I have four different tarot decks. You got the number four. And with the fourth deck, we are using the Chakra Wisdom deck by Tori Hartman. If we could just shuffle in tune with Pisces energies for this month coming in this timeless zodiac reading, what information can you help us with that Pisces is supposed to hear? Okay, excuse me. All right, that's thank you, one. <laughs> so let's get in tune with our Pisces. One, two. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. All right, guys. Let me gather these up. And, whoops, Let's see what we got. Just gonna put them over top of these. So our first card that showed itself was this beautiful Queen of Coins, and uh, that's gonna be the Queen of Cups. And 
Next we have the Ten of Cups. Along with the Seven of Swords. Following by the Five of Cups. We also have the Five of Swords now. Okay, hold on. How many do we have? Oh, okay. I hear them. I don't know why I just doubted. Okay, so this one they went there. These ones they went here. And then we're going to do another line. I understand. I didn't realize we only had uh, a nine. Okay, Three of Swords is next. Coming underneath the Ten of Cups. Followed by the Ace of Swords. And we next have the Ace of Wands. So that's two fives and two aces. Interesting. Finally, the card, the King of Wands. Oh my goodness, do you see that, guys? You have two, 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 and the one here is... Crown chakra. These ones are your crown chakra. So this is your third eye chakra being highlighted. So what do I see here now? My dear, dear Pisces. Let me see here. Hold on. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. What I see here is. I apologize, my dear Pisces. I did not realize that the camera quit recording, so I don't know where we stopped. We're going to start all over. So we have the Queen of Coins, the Ten of, that that fell uh, right side up while we were dealing out the cards, and then we got the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Swords. And this is the Queen of Pentacles, by the way, I felt like I needed to say. Okay, Seven of Swords, the Five of Cups, and again, another Five, the Five of Swords, the Three of Swords, Two Aces, One, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, and finally ending the reading with the King of Wands. So I think there's some kind of wonderfulness that we have a queen and a king starting and ending the reading. Interesting for sure. I do want to say real quick that with the queen of pentacles showing itself immediately, I'm feeling like you're encouraged, your Pisces, to focus on your stability, your security, and make sure that you take care of your physical and material needs, even though you are encouraged to kind of, you know, take care of you. Okay, so um, I think you're supposed to, like, nurture yourself and create this stable find foundation and that's going to make some prosperity or some type of abundance into your life. The Ten of Cups says to me, well, it, it, it represents emotional fulfillment, joy in your family or relationships, some kind of um, harmony. So I think you're going to uh, experience a deep sense of contentment and be very happy happy in your emotional con connections. I was going to say conjunctions. I don't know why I was going to say conjunctions. But some kind of domestic life is really prominent for some of you because of just, you know, the male and female, he's loving her for sure. And anyway, the Ten of Cups gen generally does um, speak of, you know, excuse me, family times. It's also some kind of completion I just heard. 
that there's some kind of fulfillment. There's definitely, maybe you're spending time with family, I just heard. Some kind of security, though. Definitely a security of some sense. The Seven of Swords, to me, suggests that there is something going on sneakily behind the, uh, behind the surface for you guys. There's some kind of betrayal, perhaps, or some kind of deception in some type of way. Oh, so sorry. Somebody's being, um... Deceitful to you, Pisces, okay? Somebody's got some dishonest behavior going on that you've got to navigate around. And be very careful, I just heard, and use discernment and use integrity. All right, now that's not for everybody, I just heard also. So not everybody's going to have that. Not everybody's being de betrayed. Not everyone around you is being deceptive, but... Somebody out there there is, or a few of you. I feel in, in uh, courage to grab these dice here. This is going to tell us a percentage-wise. It's 0 to 100. We get two zeros and a 0. That's nobody out there. We get a 1 and two zeros. That's, you know, definitely 100%. So let's see what we got. How many percent of the people watching need to worry about the Seven of Swords? Okay, that's 30%. So that's very low. Because the 10 and the 3. Or it could be 13%. Okay. Spirit just said 13%. Thank you, Spirit. It's 13% of you are going to have that be the betrayal or the dishonesty. So that's not very many, like I thought. Okay. Well, I am sorry that anybody has to have that, in fact. All right, let's move on to the Five of Cups. Now, this card here is talking about loss and disappointment. So, and, but... Or even some of you focusing on what you lost rather than what you still have. You might be experiencing that emotional sorrow right now or some kind of regret. But you need to look and recognize all the blessings that you do have and all the opportunities that are still available to you, dear Pisces. Don't focus on what did happen. Focus on what will happen. All right. And then the Five of Swords is back to that conflict, that defeat, that feeling of some kind of discord, okay? But I just think that there's some kind of power struggle with um, some of the things going on with most of you. Uh, you're urged to choose your battles wisely and don't get into any unnecessary confrontation. That was clearly stated just word for word. This is the card of uh, the Three of Swords, the card of heartache, okay? Pain, suffering, emotional. Your heart's broke somehow. So maybe you're just experiencing some kind of grief or some kind of sorrow this month ahead. And it's just really important for you to acknowledge that your, your emotions have a reason for being there. Like the teardrops card, you know, feel them so you can heal and move forward. Just let your feelings be. Do experience some so that you can grow from that, okay? Move into this beautiful Ace of Swords, okay? Now, this is clarity, truth, and this kind of sometimes a mental breakthrough. Many of you are going to experience a surge of this mental clarity and this insight that's going to allow you to cut through the confusion and see any situation you come across with absolute clarity and see the perspective ahead. Because the Ace of Wands stands for, in my eyes, new beginnings, some kind of inspiration, and this beautiful creative process that all you Pisceans are all about. So I feel like so, a lot of you are going to be feeling this sense of... Um, 
a spark of passion I just heard and this motivation to pursue these new ventures and any creative project that you may think up is going to flourish in whichever way this is uh, feeling for you guys. Okay, then we're going to have a look at this King of Wands. This is leadership. This is confidence and this is charisma to the fullest. So just by displaying this leadership and authority in anything you do, it's going to really inspire others so that they can see their own vision and their own passion. Oh, there you go. See, that is that, um, it's under here. Be the mentor too, the mentor card for sure. But, uh, expression, speak your truth was the other one and it's right above it. That's too cool. So be the mentor so that others can do what they're supposed to do also, you know, that's lovely guys. Good job, Pisces. But I just want to say, with well, seeing these two fly, uh, two, two fives in conjunct with each other, especially, it's just, I can't help but say this, that there is going to be some kind of obstacle and conflict, I feel, that's really going to test your resilience and, and how adaptable you are. But with that being said, then we have these two beautiful aces. Okay, so feel the feeling I just heard, go through it, feel the feeling, and then you're going to be able to have this potential for the new beginnings and have that clarity and emerge from any adversity that you go through. So just harness your um, mental clarity, G jump on any creative inspiration you get, and you'll overcome any challenge and be able to embrace that for the potential of growth and, and all that transformation. Okay. And embrace the new opportunities that you are going to have for your personal and spiritual growth. You know, that's just lovely. I want to say one more thing. Like, don't forget that the queen showing herself is just a special message of or special energy, I want to even say, for you to embody or just pay attention to in March. Don't forget, you have to be reminded, it said, to embrace the practicality, embrace the nurturing, and embrace the abundance that you do have on your journeys. And, and navigate with love and light, my friends, for sure. If you like the reading, I hope you hit the like button down below if you haven't already done so. If you're not a member, please consider subscribing to the channel so that you can get future uploads with by hitting the notification bell. And until next time, my dear friends, my dear little moonbeams, I want to wish you so much love, so much light, and endless blessings. So until next time, bye!